The best information about boxing in the world is on stylesmakefights.com. Stylesmakefights.com watching future heavyweight champ Seth Mitchell skip rope. Seth Mitchell, how you doing, man? Pretty good. Right? Yeah. Uh, the few people that I've talked to that have come in contact with you have described you as a nice guy, cooperating with the press and making personal appearances for whoever uh, request seems to be your nature. Is it tough for you to say I'm not going to do that and that, I, and that you have to draw the line somewhere? Um, definitely, you know, definitely. Uh, when you get to this level, there's a lot of a lot of press, a lot of people want to do interviews and things of that nature. But as long as it really doesn't, it's not too close to my fight and it doesn't interfere with my training. You know, I'm, I'm all for you know the press and the, and the people, the fans. You know, they make it. So it's all good. What's up? You know, better than representing Brandywine, it's representing my family and myself. Um, you know, I just I just work hard. You know, I'm a, I'm a humble guy, believe in myself, and uh, I just enjoy I just enjoy what I do. And I'm looking forward to, to big things in 2012. You know, sometimes you don't necessarily feel that, you know, you are a role model, you should be looked upon different, but, you know, that's the name of the game. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're in that position, you're held at a higher standard. And uh, I don't think it would be hard for me because, again, that's, that's who I am. I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a gentleman. I'm a, you know, I'm not a, a mean person outside of the ring. I'm very personal, charismatic. You know, I'm easy to approach, easy to come up to. But uh, when it comes time to competing, and then it's all business. Then it's a different, it's a different uh, ball game. They say I'm, my birthday May 29th, so they say I'm a Gemini. You know, two different split personalities. And uh, when I compete, you definitely see that. When George Foreman fought Muhammad Ali, he had been there four rounds in three years. Your record is 24 and 0 with 18 knockouts, which means you. Haven't been. To, you've only been a distance six or seven times. Do you ever worry about possibly fighting a guy that might look to take you to, that, that might look to take you out to deep water and drown you somewhat like uh, Ali did to Foreman because he hadn't had experience in going the distance? Not at all. I uh, I train like I haven't won a fight. Um, dedicated. You know, it's not. It's not gonna happen. I, I hope my opponents coming to the ring with their game plan because uh, they'll, they'll find out that it's, it's a totally different ball game. You know, I train hard. I'm, I've been in boxing, I believe, for five years, and as long as I've stayed out of the gym, it's three weeks, so that doesn't, um, you know, concern me at all. I trust my trainer. Besides the Clisco brothers, <clears throat> who are some of the fighters that you anticipate might be a threat to you in the next year or so? Um, if I, you know, if you if you follow me, I don't I don't give out names. I don't um, I don't call out names. But I let my uh, you know we do things in, in a consensus. You know, my promoter and my managers and advisor they come up. You know, with my opponents and uh, you know they'll they'll ask us what do we think. About this? I know who I fight, but uh, I don't I don't throw names out there. Boxed uh, 78 rounds as a pro, and you have a 72 percent KO KO ratio, which means you put people away. Um, are you, is, is anger the driving factor? Um, do you feel hatred when you go in the ring or uh, are you kind of mellow until you get in the ring? Um, no, never hatred, you know, I, I hate is such a strong word. I, I really don't hate anybody. I just, you know, when I get in the ring, I don't think that I'm invincible at all. Anybody can be beat, but when I get in the ring, I don't think my opponent can beat me. I definitely respect them. But uh, it's, it's business, and uh, I'm going to take care of mine. So, I mean, that's just how I feel. I, I prepare. I don't underestimate. But uh, I just believe I bring, you know, too much to the table as far as my athleticism, my power, my speed, my boxing IQ. 
and I think a lot of heavyweights, once they get into the ring with me, they realize that, you know, this guy's, you know, I know he was strong, but he's a lot faster, you know, than I thought he was. He can, you know, evade punches, you know, better than I thought he could. So, you know, it's just, I'm just blessed, man, and I, I don't take it for granted. I just work hard, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just been, it's been good thus far. <clears throat> Would you be at your best if you had to KO a man that you personally liked or admired? Would I be at my best? It's, it's business, you know. I mean, better him than me. You know, that, that's how that's how I look at it. Uh, you know, you do form certain bonds and relationships once you're you know in the sport for a while, and you might spar with you know certain people and things of that nature. But when it when the bell is rung, it's it's, it's all business, and uh, you know. I may get knocked out, he may be getting knocked out, but uh, afterwards, you know what I'm saying, you see, a lot, a lot of times you see the, the boxers snap each other up or, you know, show that mutual respect, but, um, you know, if I if I had to fight somebody that I had, you know, a, a love for, you know, business is business. You're scheduled to fight Chaz Witherspoon on the, on, the under, on the undercard of Hawkins Dawson. Are there any noticeable weaknesses in his fighting style that you can take advantage of? He's a good fighter. Um, you know, I've uh, just now started to look at some uh, some tape on him, but uh, he does everything well. He has a good, solid jab. You know, he throws you know various right hands, looping right hand. He throws a straight right hand. Um, he can fight on the inside. No, his record speaks for itself. Um, he, he's been in there with some top-notch fighters. Uh, I expect him to come prepared to win, um, as well as, as well as I will be physically and mentally 100%. And uh, once again, I. Uh, I envision myself coming out the victor. How soon do you want to fight for the title? I um, mean, if everything continues to, to go as it is, if I continue to progress, no setbacks, no injuries, things of that nature, I see myself hopefully getting that, that call by this time next year, something like that. Will, you're a very smart fighter with power. And that's what's up. You don't have a lot of heavyweights that fight like that. Most heavyweights, bang. And you're thinking fighting, you showed that. Uh, so when you win the title, what can we the fans count on during your reign and what are we certain to see from Seth Mitchell the boxer and Seth Mitchell the person? Um, you, can, you can see me putting on exciting fights. You know, I, I come to fight. You know, I think uh, my style resonates because you know, I, have, I have the skills and the tools to go in there and you know, be flashy and, and, and showboat a little bit, but that's just not my nature. I'm a blue collar fighter. And the average person, hell, the average American isn't really, you know, they, 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 we're, we're a blue collar society, you know what I mean? It's recession out here and when they see me fight, they know that I'm, I'm not in there playing, I'm in there to take care of business. And um, they can expect to see the same thing. They can hopefully expect to see me, you know, fight, you know, two or three times a year as a champion. And uh, as, a, as a person, you know, they can expect to see somebody and say, you know what, this guy, he acts the same as a champion as he did when he was coming up. Somebody that's humble, somebody that's caring, somebody that's, you know, still does a lot of outreach, you know, things, things of that nature, man. That's what's up, man. Thanks for your time, man. No StylesMakeFights.com. Yes, Shout out to StylesMakeFights.com. Keep doing y'all thing. Tune in. 428 is going down. Mayhem. Thank everyone. Uh, get, get this month's issue of the Ring Magazine. March. Yeah. Opening shot. Heavyweight sensation, Seth Mitchell. 28-12 on the end. Damn! Right there.